everybody. Welcome to Dak Man Productions and welcome to Conahay Rail. Today we have another unboxing. This time, this box came all the way from California from a place called the Public Delivery Track. And it's uh, owned by a very nice woman by the name of Beth Marshall. And um, the Public Delivery Track is actually uh, one of the hobby shops that's on the Atlas uh, 2 and 3 rail Facebook group. And um, what's nice about the public delivery track is that uh, Beth does fine collections and she buys them and so she always seems to have a great selection of Atlas O. So if you're looking for something in particular uh, that was produced by Atlas O, more likely she might have it. Uh, she does quite a few uh, special runs with Atlas so She's doing, and I can't wait uh, for these to be released, but she's doing a special run with Atlas so of the um, with the Atlas O Green Hoppers, and, and she's going to do them on the uh, pink uh, Green Hoppers. For those who aren't familiar, uh, there are pink. There were pink green hoppers, and a lot of them were former or former co-op hopper cars of, of different names and stuff, and and they were pink. And um, I probably should wait for my review when I get them. Uh, but there's a story as to why those hopper cars were pink, but I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. Anyway, <laughs> we'll have to wait for the hopper cars to uh, arrive, and then I'll tell you why they were pink. So. At any rate, um, as usual, uh, I like to tell stories while I'm unboxing. Seems as though not everybody enjoys my stories. I had one rude comment. A uh, viewer said I talk too much. I guess I'm supposed to be sitting here quiet and let everybody watch me unbox something? I don't know. Whatever. So, <laughs> we'll move on. And uh, let's take that out. So let's see what we got today. And um, so, oh yeah, oh, wow. these are right. So what I got, and we'll take a closer look at them as usual, are um, the Pia, um, the forty-seven fifty series hop cars in the road name of the Rock. Uh, anybody who's Love trains will probably know by now that the Rock is the railroad called the Rock is actually making a comeback. They actually formed a, a railroad, the Rock Island. So uh, somebody invited me to that group and I joined it, and it's pretty interesting. But you still see uh, the original Rock hopper cars uh, once in a while in a train. Sometimes they're they're. Of course, the uh, original road numbers are um, blocked out, and new names are put on them, but for the most part, you know, you still see the rock emblem, even though it's under a different, for, yeah, different ownership. So I bought these uh, as a two-car set for my green ring, and uh, so what I decided to do is to replace some of my Lionel Green Hoppers with the Atlas O because bar none Atlas O has better details than Lionel or MTH. And um, so uh, I really enjoy the Atlas O and if Atlas O doesn't make it what I want then you know I'll look at Lionel or MTH. And people probably ask you uh, I'll unbox one while I'm telling those stories. Right. But people are probably asking, how come you only have Line Out or MTH and Atlas L? Because Kind of Rail is a high rail layout that's uh, of scale size, true scale size. And so there's manufacturers that, only certain manufacturers that make full scale cars. Atlas L is one of them, Line Out is another and MTH Premier are all full-size scale cars. 
Uh, Williams does not. They're all semi-scale. Not that there's anything wrong with them. The Williams are nice. They're reasonably priced. And um, they'll run forever. So don't be afraid to buy Williams. The only thing that irks me about Williams is when they offer two locomotives set, both the locomotives are the same road number. That wouldn't go over well too <laughs> with me at all, but at any rate. So, um, so here we go. Here's my uh, 4750 uh, grain hopper. And I did put a video out called All About Pullman Hopper Cars. So if you're not familiar with the series of 4750, you might want to go back and look at that video. Um, but the Pullman Standard Company uh, made this 4750. This was their biggest hopper that they made. It's 150 tons, or it can carry 150 tons. Uh, they had a 47 or 4427 hopper series that was a 100 ton hopper. So uh, let's get this on the track. And um, actually, uh, we'll get both of them on the track because they're going to go right to work. Okay, so here we have the uh, Atlas O, uh, the Rock 4750 series hopper on the track. Now, this is part of the Trainman series, which is a step down from the At uh, Atlas O Master series. But don't let that fool you because even though it's a Trainman series, it's still got a lot of detail uh, to this car uh, so let me point out that uh, for example if you look at the roof walk the roof walk has sieve through grading um, which is very impressive and then also if you look real close even though it's uh, part of the train man series it still has the rotating wheel bearing caps that I like uh, for trucks to have and then of course your your airline uh, on there and you could always uh, detail these cars and then there, there's your uh, end graphics there and your um, ladders and stuff if I turn this around you'll see the uh, brake wheel and the uh, air tank inside there which is what it's supposed to have for a hopper car let me see if I can spin this thing around so you can see the air tank better there you go um, I like the uh, data plate and you can see the, the little tiny graphics that make the difference um, as far as Atlas O grabbing all these uh, graphics on here, even the small stuff. Uh, I've seen other manufacturers, and I'm not going to point out names, that don't do the, the small little tiny graphics. Because every time you uh, add graphics to a car, it drives the uh, manufacturing price up. Um, they, this car features, um, you know, die cast trucks, die cast knuckle couplers, um, it, it, this car is just wonderful. I'm not going to get too far into, um, a review of these because Atlas O has made the 4750 for quite some time. Um, it's a, it's a beautiful car. So, let's put this thing to work. Now the last time I said let's put these to work, I pushed them in by hand into my grain yard, uh, which was that Burlington Northern hopper car, and then when I looked at my own video, I'm like, ah, that made for a boring review. So, instead of me pushing them in by hand, let's go grab our yard switcher, which is the uh, Conrail GP30. And we'll pick these cars up.
Thank you for watching all the Dac Man Productions video and hope to see you next video. Goodbye.